Well, you may have heard of the dark web, where billions of dollars worth of drugs, weapons, and other illegal items are sold secretly online. But investigators have uncovered that many criminals are using it from the comfort of their own homes and in some of LA's best neighborhoods. CBS 2's Peter Dowd is here now with more. Peter? Rick and Pat, it's a sinister world just a few clicks away. The dark web is a growing challenge for authorities who warn criminals can use it almost anywhere. In the hills above Studio City, at this secluded home valued at more than $2 million, neighbors say several times a week, this is what went on. Edited videos of parties at the home can be found on YouTube, posted by partygoers who didn't even live there. These were ragers. It felt like a casino after a while. It was crazy. This woman did not want to show her face, but says she and other neighbors called police dozens of times for an entire year. There were drugs found on the front stoop. There were sex parties going on. They were they were yelling sex, sex, sex. It's just like, really, you've got to be kidding me. But neighbors also suspected something far more serious going on at the home and involving the man who used to rent it, 29-year-old Richie Martinson. On social media, Martinson has numerous videos and photos of himself partying and describes himself as a host, hospitality, and concierge. Turns out the kind of hospitality he provided could have been highly illegal. Martinson, along with five of his friends, were arrested and charged last summer for being involved in a massive drug ring. Accused of selling narcotics, not just throughout the country, but the world. Everything from marijuana to cocaine to pain pills to LSD. And investigators say they did it using the dark web. I had never heard of it before. And it's scary and frightening. The dark web refers to the part of the internet only accessible with special software, allowing users and website operators to remain anonymous or untraceable. It could be happening at any point, any place, any time. Dr. Clifford Newman is a computer security expert at USC. He says the dark web is a virtual playground for criminals who use it to sell drugs, weapons, and even child pornography. We're probably looking at billions of dollars in transactions. Investigators say Martinson and five of his friends were involved in a business that became one of the largest vendors on an underground marketplace that has since been shut down by the feds, which the group used to complete nearly 80,000 orders of marijuana. They allegedly used a home in this gated community in Altadena to assemble more than a thousand parcels of pot a week. Anyone who is motivated to make a little money and has an internet connection has the opportunity to do something like this. We met with a special agent at the DEA who specializes in the dark net. For his safety, we're hiding his identity. He says these marketplaces are extremely easy to use, basically no different than eBay with the same door-to-door -door service, and that's causing big problems for law enforcement. They're tough to catch because one gram of heroin or methamphetamine or cocaine in an envelope is relatively hard to track in a sea of mail. One of the men charged, Brian Lemons, who you can see here with Martinson, even posted a video of himself partying with stacks of cash. But the group's brazen and reckless behavior ultimately caught the attention of authorities, landing them behind bars. And though the loud non-stop parties at the home may have stopped since Martinson moved out, neighbors have a warning for those who think this could not happen in their community. It could happen anywhere, and that's the problem. Investigators say in the four years the alleged illegal network operated, it sold drugs not for cash, but rather more than $7 million worth of Bitcoin. We were unable to reach the suspects who are still awaiting their day in court.